lavish look. So this is a lightweight, non-greasy formula and it's designed to help condition your hair and also help with growth and thickness. So many of you have used Lavish Lux and you absolutely love it. We've been using this oil for years now. I've used it on Anna's hair ever since she was a baby and it's just helped her hair grow longer, thicker, stronger and shinier. It's organic, it's 100% natural and all our results are on the Lavish Lux page. You can get your bottle of Lavish Lux at www.lavishlux.com. Hi guys, so today is another cooking vlog obviously and um, I'm going to cook the most easiest and quickest curry ever. Um, so I'm going to make a chicken salad and I'm going to use, this came the post, so this is um, Balti Towers uh, Garai sort of masala paste, like a ready-made paste. I thought, you know what, with Ramadan coming up, it's perfect because I'm fasting today as well, so I'm not going to be able to taste the food. Um, let me open it and I'll show you guys. Just get a knife, scissors, probably would be better. Let's open this up. So, it's going to like speed up cooking time by like double, half, half, double, what am I talking about? It's gonna half your cooking time. As in like, you know, it's gonna be twice as quick. Right then, so, here we have it. Whoa, that's a huge tub. How big is this tub? I didn't even realize how big it is. It's two and a half kg, and this is for a uh, balti karai sauce. So um, let's have a look just for the specifics. It's got your cooking instructions here at the bottom. So it says, gently stir fry your meat um, in vegetable oil until golden brown and then stir in the amount of sauce and gently bring to the boil until un until ugh, until thoroughly cooked add water um which is optional if you want to thin it so perfect so in this you've got everything you've got your onions you've got your chilies you've got your garlic your ginger your masala it's got butter in there as well ginger i've said that lemon juice um everything's in there that's great so this has got it says a shelf life of six months if it's not opened and if it has been opened you just pop it in the fridge and it will last a month and i'm sure if you're like cooking as much as i do then this will go down perfectly guess how much it is guys it's 20 pounds 19.99 how cheap is that for a big tub of masala but guess what i've got a code for you it's safina 50 and you get 50% off. So you're gonna get this for a tenner. I was buying small little bloody sachets for like two pound and you're getting a whole freaking tub for a tenner. It's amazing. Right, let's get cooking. Right then, so um, I've got my chicken. This is basically a large chicken, which is about a kilogram. Um, and I've got my masala and this is all I'm gonna need. No onions, no garlic, no ginger, no chili, no tomatoes. It's actually like, I'm really happy about this because there's less mess in the kitchen and it's going to all be like done in, I'm not even cooking in the pressure cooker because it's chicken, it cooks really quickly. So I'm using a normal pan. So I'm just gonna pop my oil in, brown my chicken, add my masala. You'll see it anyway. Right then, I'm gonna add some vegetable oil to the pan and I'm going to chuck my meat in. Hello, why did you just switch off? I'm trying to cook here. Let's try that again. I have no idea what that was about. Round two. Okay, so we've added that oil to the pan and just heat that oil a bit. So we've got our Balti Karai masala paste and our chicken. I find this very weird because we're not using anything else. But I'm gonna love this in Ramadan. I'm not even joking. I'm even gonna love it today because I don't have to worry about the taste of the food. Everything is in it. Mm. Right, so there's our chicken. This is a large chicken, one kg. That's gone in, grab a spoon. I feel like I've got loads of time to faff around because I've got not much to show you guys. Okay, give this a mix, pop the fan on. 
the extractor, should I say. We're just gonna brown the chicken now. This is a super big chicken that I got from the, um, the butchers today. I went to a butcher on Dudley Road called Hassan's. Okay, let's just get that bit round. I'm gonna open this in the meantime. And let's have the look. Let's turn that down. There we go. So it's got a little tab. That's it. It's been open now, so what date is it today? 26th, I think, of February. Right, guys, take a look at this. It smells really good. Okay, so you've got oil that's at the top, so before using it, you just need to mix it. So I'm just going to pop this over here for a second and bring the camera back up. Okay, so let's just brown up our chicken a bit. I can't get over how easy this is on my junkie. Like, this is too easy. Like there's no cooking involved. It's crazy. See how much I'm smiling right now. I think it's just purely because you know what? I've been really busy recently and I think Mommy. especially with Ramadan, that's the most important thing. Yes. Are these said? Are these said? Now. He said it's... Oh! Ah! What's it? <laughs> oh, no. This is what happens when I've got too much time to waste. I'm catching fire to everything. Oh, my poor Tito. It caught fire? I was thinking I could smell something. Look, it wasn't me. Oh my god. Oh yeah, lucky it wasn't me, eh? Yeah, it's fine, Let me make sure there's no bits no. that have me. Make sure this is fully brown. What just happened? Oh no, I'm gonna have a snack outside. Can you give me a spoon, please? Oh, oh, oh my god, what are you two doing? Anyone, anyone. Can you get me a fork, please? I'm gonna go get the fork. There you go. Special big fork. Thank you very much. Excuse me. Put those back now. You've had plenty of snacks. Put them back. Right. Right now. Leave the scooter and go in the garden. Go. Let's play the fighting game. The what game? Let's play the fighting game. It's too much inside. So you can see, chicken has a. Uh, turned colour, it's gone from pink to white, so uh, my phone's just like, oh, stay still. Okay, so it's turned white, the chicken has now, so it's getting browned off nicely, and I'm just going to give at this stage, if you wanted to add in some bits, you can, but I'd say just don't worry because everything is in there. So we need to give this a mix, just to mix the oil with the masala. Without dropping it everywhere because I'm so bloody clumsy or catching fire to anything. So. Obviously, the oil sits at the top, 
So it's just good to give it a good mix. There we go. I was so close to just doing that and tasting it then off the spoon. Going to do it, fasting. Okay. I'm just gonna give this a few more minutes. So I'm going to add my masala. So I'm gonna get my large serving spoon because I've got a large chicken, which is about a kilo. I'm gonna add in two of these um, serving spoons into the pan. And I'll see if I need a bit more. I think I'm gonna go for three. Give it a mix. So what we want to do is just coat all the chicken. Gosh, I've not used a chicken this big before. This is a huge chicken. So all the chicken is coated now, and I'm just gonna switch the camera around so that you guys can see. Just turn the heat up a bit. because we're gonna add a little bit of water and just let it simmer and cook. So at this point, we've just added um, the masala, the Baltitaro's masala. This is uh, the Garai masala, okay guys? And it's just going to simmer for a bit. So how you'd normally do your masala, let it simmer for a bit and then obviously add some water just to like create more gravy. It smells amazing. So this is the trick behind all these restaurants, you know when they make your curry really quick and you think how the hell did you do that? Because they've got stuff like this where they've got all their pre-cooked meat, they've got their pre-cooked masala, you just chuck it in, give it a good Garnish it. Job's done. Right, we're gonna get some water and add it's about 400 ml. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit over. Let this simmer now because I don't want it. Um, like I like quite a bit shorter in mine. I don't like it too dry. Neither does Aline and the kids, they like to have like a bit of sauce. Not like water sauce, but like a thick sauce, a thick gravy. So I've added about a cup of water. And what I wanna do is just let the chicken cook down the steam and the, um, the masala itself, like will thicken up and the water will cook down. Just turn that on low. I'm gonna leave that on low now and I'm going to pop this into the fridge. So it's got a nice sealable lid. There we go. That's going in the fridge and it will last me a month now. So I'll easily finish this in a month because I cook every day. But it's not bad at all for 10 quid. Like I can't get over it. Uh, it's really generous, 50% off with my code, Safina50, don't forget. Um, so I feel a bit useless now, I'm just like, what do I do? Because there's nothing to do, I just need to let it cook. Um, so I think I'm just going to clean up a bit, do some vacuuming. Um, it allows me to do other stuff, I suppose, which is quite good. Like, I didn't have to, like, cut the onions. You've seen how I do it, like, cut the onions, do the tomatoes, garlic, ginger, chilli like, you know, bunda, brownie, all of that stuff, add the tomatoes, add the masala, cook that down, and then go in with the meat and the water. It's literally just a few spoons in, chuck your meat in, done. Okay, I'm 
managed to do the hoovering, tidy the bathroom in that time as well. And we'll just check on the salon. There we go. Just gonna let that water still cook down. So I'm gonna put the lid back on. And in the meantime, I'm gonna chop some. You can't both go at the same time. Go to the upstairs toilet as well. I've just seen the downstairs, downstairs bathroom. No one goes to the downstairs bathroom. Upstairs. Okay, so I'm gonna chop some ginger and uh, get some coriander for the garnish. And we're done. Most easiest dinner ever. Gosh, it's crazy. Okay, so I've got my ginger, got my coriander. I'm just gonna soak um, the coriander in um, a bowl. And wash it a bit. thin slices it's really hot I'm just gonna like slice close but slice down like that and then just make some nice sort of garnish strips like this so I've gone awfully quiet now and I'm sure you don't just want to see me like a big piece of the chicken and as long as it's cooked then we're going to start reducing the water. Let's get, this is quite a big chunky piece. <laughs> Use my head a bit. Hey guys, so it's literally been 10 minutes and this is all cooked and I am going to serve it up into my bowl over there, top it with some coriander and I say garlic, ginger and we're done. So let's just pop this here and let's do this. Where you go? stupid bloody thing in your eyebrow seriously right
All right, guys, we have our karai, chicken karai, and I'm just gonna top it with some ginger and some coriander. There we go. Yummy, that looks amazing. That's like it. I'm really hungry. I feel hungry. So guys, there is your chicken karoi, and that was with the most easiest, easiest product here, which is Balti Tao's karoi, um masala, and the proof is in the dish. It is yummy, and we're all just going to eat now, so I'm fasting, otherwise I would have tasted it, but I'll, um, come on, stick on there, but um, I'm going to taste it once I've opened my fast. Uh, actually, kids, come over here. I want you to taste this. Let me get a fork. This is going to be spicy. <laughs> Do you think? Let's have a taste. Uh, is it hot? No, it's alright. Say bismillah. Bismillah. <laughs> bismillah. Mm. What do you think? Yummy. Is it yummy? Good, good, good. I have a big chicken. Bismillah. Bismillah. Hot? What's he like? Good, good. <laughs> there we go. Kids see a little approval. I'm gonna have my to open my fast, but guys, 50% off. Make sure you use your code Safina50 and the link it will be in the description below. And if you liked this video, I know, I know. You want more? They really yeah, like it. It's ready. I know it's ready. Okay, I'm gonna do roti and then give you. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, guys, and we'll see you on the next vlog. Like